Hey, what's up guys, this is Andy here, and I'm going to be bringing you part 2 of the character animation and rigging tutorial in 3ds Max. So, um, this is my mesh here, it's a Call of Duty 4 model, uh, that's, that I've textured. Um, so, let's get started. This is what we uh, had from the previous tutorial, if you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. There'll be an annotation in the top left. Um, what I want to be is make sure the biped is in figure mode, otherwise you'll be uh, doing quite a lot of undoing. So, uh, let's get started. If we uh, unfreeze all, because in part one we uh, froze the mesh, uh, what we want to do is we're going to click on it, and we're going to go into the modifier panel, and we're going to click physique. What this modifier will do is uh, sort of warp the uh, mesh, but to fix that, we're going to go and catch to node. We're going to right click, and we're going to select biped one, and click initialize, because um, they have very basic uh, settings, and I haven't really done much messing around with them. And so what you're going to do is you're going to apply the, the physique modifier for the hands, the face, the hats, and all of the parts of the uh, mesh that you want to uh, rig to the biped. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now we've got uh, all parts of the mesh uh, with the physique modifier. So uh, now if you move any part of the biped, uh, you'll see that the mesh takes some sort of movement alongside it. Uh, but as you can see from all these points here, um, they're not attached and they're just staying exactly where they are or they're being attached to another part of the biped. So to fix this, I'm just going to undo that, uh, select the mesh, uh, drop down the physique menu and then uh, go up, click on vertex. Now if we click select by link, uh, you can see that all of these vertices are partially attached to the, uh, the left leg. So uh, to fix this, what we're going to do, it's mainly with the legs that if they're close together, uh, the left leg, what you just want to do is just want to select the, all the vertices and we're going to remove from link there. And just to make matters uh, quicker, I'm just going to remove it from that part as well, uh, just to speed up the process because I've only got 15 minutes to do the tutorial. Uh, so, sorry if it's a bit quick, you can pause the video at any time um, uh, just to catch up. Uh, so, now if we select by link again, uh, those parts are now detached from that part. And, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the lower part of the knee uh, to create some sort of muscle movement. And what we're going to do is we're going to now assign these points here, creating those blue vertices into uh, red ones. So if we exit the modifier now and we click on the leg, as you can see, it takes some sort of a motion. That was a lot better than last time as we had quite a few points there. But as you can see, now in the lower leg, we've still got a few more problems. Uh, so, back into Vertex, and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, select the lower knee and items below it, and what we're going to do is we're going to click Assign to Link. And now, as we leave that, uh, it should be alright now. As you can see, that, that seems alright. And we can leave that, we're going to Local, the little side view. As you can see, there's not too much warping, obviously. There, I'll just detach that from there. Uh, but you sort of get the general idea that the uh, biped, as you can see there, creates some sort of muscle uh, tension there, but just going to do all of that. Uh, but now I've got problems with the foot, so uh, same again, go into it, into the physique modifier. But instead I'm going to teach you a new way to uh, fix these problems. Uh, you can go into envelope, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click this link here. There isn't a select by link on the uh, drop, uh, drop bar, but what we can do now is we have these uh, two envelopes and what these mean is that uh, the inner, that is all the vertices in there, uh, will be attached to that link and the outer is exactly the same, just on a uh, bigger scale. Um, so what we're going to do is because the outer's sort of got the main area of the foot, so we're going to mess around with the inner. So what we're going to do, uh, we can increase the uh, radial scale to about 1.2 maybe 1.3 that just gives it a few more vertices to play around with and then what we're going to do is we're going to increase the child overlap so that's uh, towards us so we're going to increase that to about 0.5 as you see that uh, sort of brings it up even further but what we need to do is we need to get it right around the end of the toe so i'm going to increase that to about 0.8 and that should be all the vertices needed for this part uh, so if i leave that and i'm going to move the uh, leg again as you can see uh, there's, there's still two more there 
so just increase it again with the envelope. Uh, just going to increase this both to about 1.3, uh, and then mess around with the inner again and just increase the uh, chart over that to about 0.9, and then that should be good. If not, I'll just uh, use vertex. But uh, as you can see, it, it is another way of doing it. Uh, but I think it's less successful, as you can see here, uh, than the uh, uh, vertex method. So what I'm going to do is just sign to the link. And now you can see it should be all perfect. <laughs> you can select there. And now you can see all that leg's completely done. Now if you see on the left, uh, on the right leg, um, same sort of problem again. But if you just repeat that same process of going into the modifier, uh, clicking the mesh, modifier, vertex, and just uh, selecting all these vertices and assign them to the links, I'll just do it very quickly and wish it. Uh, I think that's a missed few there. And assign them to the link. And then the link. Assign them to this link there. Go into this one, vertex, and the site link. Now that was just done very quickly, so it may not be realistic at all, but it uh, should be a lot better than what it was before. And yeah, as you can see. Uh, now I've got problems with these uh, items on the side. Uh, I'm not sure what they are. Some sort of inventory. Uh, but what you what don't want to do is you don't want to make these uh, be part of the modifier. Because uh, if you lift that leg up, that will start warping and dragging it to it, and then it will create a, a texture problem, and then it will go very low quality. Um, so what we want to do instead is we want to just simply select it. Uh, I'm going to freeze the mesh just because uh, we need to select a bone underneath easily. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, click on that, select and link, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, drag it onto the uh, right leg there, and we're going to do the same with this side, uh, with the uh, left leg. And attach it to there, and now we can see we attach that there. Let's go into that one, um, and then we're going to click and freeze all. And there you go, it's nicely attached to there. And the same principle applies uh, with the arms. I won't uh, do a full detail. Uh, part three will be with the fingers and the hands, um, but you kind of get the idea that uh, what you need to do is just go into the vertex and uh, just select all of the ones that you need. Uh, to uh, attach to the uh, biped. So now, just for the uh, sake of the tutorial and the uh, time limit that I have, uh, I'm just going to go into sort of a time lapse or just uh, cut out this next section because all it will be is just me uh, messing around with the vertices uh, that you've seen me do with the leg and just sort of fix out the problems uh, with there. Uh, but I'll leave the hands until uh, part three of the tutorial. Um, so I'll be back in a minute if I have anything important to say. Okay, on the sort of final note, I've uh, kind of uh, fixed the vertices on the arms, um, so that's not too much of a problem. I've only uh, very roughly done the uh, fingers just for this tutorial. Um, but as you can see, if we go into the mesh and the modifier, we click vertex, and if we click uh, select by link, uh, if we go down all of these, as you can see, uh, that parts of the pelvis are attached to the upper arm, so uh, what we need to do there is just very quickly. Uh, this will give us a better uh, rig, so when we uh, sort of move the spine, it won't actually uh, move any of the arms. <coughs> so we're going to uh, hold down all the leaves where these sort of arms would be, and what we're going to do is we're going to remove from link, and to remove from multiple links at a time, uh, what we're going to do is click on the remove from link, and we're going to click and sort of drag our cursor over all the links that we want to remove. So now as you see, we've created some blue ones, so what we want to do now, we want to select these and we're going to attach these to the arm, because that's where they should be attached to, and we're going to do the same again for this side, and we're going to assign the link there. Now if we exit it, it should give us a better uh, movement of the arm. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a bit, not as good as I expected, but I haven't spent this much time, but um, if you spend a lot of time going and doing all the vertices and stuff, uh, you'll create a good rig. Um, so that's about it for this uh, this tutorial. Um, from this tutorial, you've learned hopefully uh, how to use the physique modifier and how to uh, edit envelopes and uh, vertexes, well vertices, um, to uh, create.
create a realistic sort of animation. And I'll just leave you with a, another render of what we've got. And that's it. Um, stay tuned for uh, part three, and please like and favorite this video. It helps me out a lot. Uh, so I'll see you for part three. See you later, guys.